Lukashenko fate still in doubt as 100K protest. Again. 50 days later. 50 days later. This is from time here. About 100,000 demonstrators. There you go. And this one is... Uh, is wearing the Belarusian national flag and a cardboard sword reading solidarity. That is some... Oh, look at that. Wearing a mask. Wearing a mask. Wearing a mask. Oh, yeah. The ubiquitous mask. Look at that person back there. That person is the most serious of all the people in this crowd. That's the eye. That's the one that my eye went to first. This guy. This guy's... Okay, I got this. I got this guy's like, um, more beer? What are we doing? I don't see the pitch. Where is the pitch? I'm looking for the... Where's the footy? I'm looking for a footy match. We're ra we're, we're rowdies, right? We're, 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 we're hoodlums, right? Or whatever you call them in English. Except these are Armenian versions. No, man. No, man. It's serious now, dude. We're serious. It's just serious time. Come on. Come on this way. I'm serious. No, this dude's like... Oh, man. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Whoever that person is, you're my hero. You're the one. You're the one. You're the leader. You're the leader. You are the one that was meant to rule them all. Okay, Armenians. Or uh, Ukrainians here. What, what is this? Oh, Ukraine. What the heck? What does it say? Kiev, Ukraine, man. This isn't from Ukraine. It's Belarus, man. Belarus! About 100,000 demonstrators marched in Belarus in capital calling for the authoritarian president's ouster, Lukashenko. Some wearing cardboard crowns to ridic cardboard crowns to ri ridicule him on Sunday as the protests that have rocked the country marked their 50th consecutive day. Protests also took place in nine other cities, underlining the wide extent of dismay and anger with President Alexander Lukashenko, who has stifled opposition independent news media during 26 years in power. The protest wave began after the August 9 presidential election that officials said gave Lukashenko a sixth term in office with a crushing, a crushing 86, 80 percent of the vote. The opposition and some poll workers say the results were manipulated. Lukashenko has defied calls for him to step down in May. Many prominent members of a council formed with the aim of arranging a transfer of power have been arrested or fled the countries. The protesters have persisted despite the daily detentions of demonstrators. What are we talking about? Belarus. Oh, Belarus. Belarus. Here's a Belarus right here. Right there, sitting smack dab, there's Moscow right here, and there's Belarus, and there's Poland, the West, Belarus, another one of these bridging countries now, especially since Poland has so much, so much more, like, tilted toward the West, so I'd say, you're, now you're much more of a pivot country now than you were before, one of them uh, tweener states, tweener states, got a lot of friction in tweener states in general, so... Yeah, it's bound to happen when you become a tweener state. When you're a bridge between frictions, look out. Okay, so Belarus here. Uh, what we are looking for is... Not the map. We are looking for... This right here. Here we go. Belarus. Belarus, bordered by Russia today. Okay, we already know this, but let's play the national anthem. <laughs> we Belarusians are peaceful people. Wholeheartedly devoted to our motherland. We are faithful friends growing up and... All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. There you go. There's a Republic of Belarus. Republican name only, maybe. Is it a right? Is it is it a is it a rhino? Is it not a republic, but a rhino? <laughs> is it a rhino? Lukashenko. Got this. Tech army set up by Europe's last dictator turns on its creator. Autocrat Alexander Lukashenko's tech revolution has backfired with Belarus's golden generation of coders and software engineers leading the fight to force him from office. What a surprise! I mean, the coders don't like authority? Yeah, you listen, coders. The coders over here love authority. Silicon Valley loves them some hate speech violations to manage. 
you should come on over here. Lukashenko, you should probably quit Belarus and become a CEO in America. You would fit far better over here in America now, Lukashenko, than you would amongst the Belarus people. One of the rare successes chalked up by the regime of Europe's last dictator has been the establishment of a kind of East European Silicon Valley which spawned a booming industry of Belarusian programmers and tech startups. The autocratic president of Belarus, Alexander Lushenko, now fears he has created a monster. An army of 30,000 tech-savvy professionals is turning against its creator. Coders and software engineers, many of whom are linked to the state-sponsored high-tech park and minks, have formed a hacking collective called Cyber Partisans, which is wreaking havoc as Lukashenko tries to quell a growing revolution. They're literally sending him dick pics. Literally, just spamming all of his social media with uh, DMs and whatnot, dick pics. His own dick, by the way. Taking him pictures places where he didn't know that anybody knew he was there. So it's meta. It's it's a different kind of dick picking. I'm, I just made all that stuff up. But man, if it was true, that would be so bad. Listen, if you guys happen to hear this by any chance, you know, consider uh, consider the idea. Consider it, because we are talking about the Lukashenko here, you know, Lukashenko. Yeah. Let's get rid of your title here, and let's uh, switch things up here for you. How about we do that? Because we're getting into some meat and potato stuff here, so now let's make sure you can see this. Yeah. So an army of 30,000 tech-savvy professionals is turning against its creators, coders, and software en engineers, many of whom are linked to the state-sponsored high-tech park and minks, have formed a hacking collective called Cyber Potterson's, which is wreaking havoc as Lukashenko tries to quell a growing revolution. Take, take my dick pic idea. Thousands of Belarusians have been arrested since August presidential election, which was condemned as rigged by foreign observers. Opposition leaders claim Lukashenko was voted out of power amid huge demonstrations against a brutal quarter of a century of power. Hundreds of those who were arrested have been beaten and assaulted. Some have allegedly even been raped and killed in jails. Lukashenko has tried to em emulate his ally, President Putin's iron grasp, grasp on dissent. Well, anybody that can get away with it that runs a nation state and, and has a need. I mean, they prefer not to have a need in general. Well, they need it, you know. No, I don't want you to share breaking news with me, Radio for Europe. I'm just here to visit. Belarusian athlete Alena Lushanka, who supported anti-Lukashenko protest, jailed. Basketball player Alena uh, Lushanka, one of Belarus's best-known athletes, has been sentenced to 15 days in jail for taking part in ongoing protests against authoritarian leader Al Alexander uh, Lushanka. Oh, well. That messed me up. I thought I saw an E in there somewhere. Alexander Lukashenko. Judge uh, Marina Zapasnik of the Lenin District Court in Minsk sentenced uh, Lukashenko on September 30th after finding her guilty of violating regulations, regulations on public gatherings. And just so you uh, American... The, I mean, if you're protesting, that means you're just marching down the streets and chanting and you're not blocking traffic and doing other idiocy and you're not breaking windows and burning down the buildings. If you're not doing anything like that, you're not going to get arrested in America on the most part. But you, if you're just protesting, you'll get arrested. If, if Lukashenko can. He can't arrest anyone, so he looks to uh, selectively, uh, and in this case, a high-profile pro uh, basketball player? Yeah, absolutely. See, see, just a little note, women make far more money playing overseas than they do in America. There's a, a much bigger audience for women's basketball overseas than there is in America, so she could very well be, like, like in America, for instance, though, like MMA, women's MMA, those are where your women's stars are. But in Belarus, it's MMA too, but it's also, it's also this. And then you have Catholic aid groups warn of social crisis in Belarus. Protest continues against Lukashenko's sixth election vi election victory on August nineteenth on, on on nine August, which has been rejected as rigged by opposition activists. Catholic aid organizations have warned of worsening economic and social conditions in Belarus have been accusations that the regime of President Alexander Lukashenko is restricting humanitarian supplies in a bid to contain mass protest against his resumption of power.
It is becoming more and more difficult for humanitarian aid workers to bring aid into the country. Goods are strictly controlled in every truckload box open, constantly increasing the bureaucratic burden of facing delivery, said Michael Damon, a, directory of, a director of Germany's Maltese Release Service. What do the Russians have to say about this? Well, the Russians are... They have a love-hate relationship with Lukashenko, just so you know. Lukashenko is uh, being cozy with the Chinese, and the Russians are no longer interested in the Chinese so much recently. And so there is that give-and-take element to this whole affair, but on the main, they, I think they recognize that what's trying to replace Lukashenko is, is Western-favored. And this is another reason why an American-Russian alliance, they could... If, if the if an Ameri if the Americans and Russians were allies, what could that be could be done in Belarus, where the Americans and the Russians would both have a vested interest to assure that there was a pro-Russian entity that replaced Lukashenko? The Russians would love to replace Lukashenko, I'm sure, but they can't because the the forces that are gathering against them are largely being. I'm not going to say that Belarus does not have its genuine, authentic ground roots, whatever. So I'm just saying whatever it is, it's going to be uh, accelerated and supported by Western forces. As surely as Russia and China and everybody else is doing their best to influence America, even as we speak. And like I said before, any nation state that's not doing this is not doing a good job as a nation state. You should demand that they no longer collect taxes from you because your ta taxes should should definitely pay for your nation state to do this to other nation states otherwise your nation states don't exist that's the game of nation statism if you don't like it choose another sport but since you have it this is where we're at so this makes sense this stance russian president vladimir putin has had a phone call with his french now this is from tas russian news agency this is pro-russian obviously uh has had a phone call with his french counterpart emmanuel macron to reaffirm russia's position that attempts to interfere in domestic affairs of a sovereign states of a sovereign states as well as foreign pressure on legitimate authorities are inadmissible the kremlin press service reported following a phone call initiated by the french side the situation, that's a key part, by the French side. Russians ain't interested in talking to you right now. The situation that emerged following the Belarusian presidential election was also touched upon. The Russian side reaffirmed its principal position that it's an inadmissible, that it is inadmissible to attempt to any interference in domestic affairs of a sovereign state or put pressure on legitimate authorities from overseas, the statement reads. Speaking at the general debates at the 75th session of the UN General Assembly in late September, Belarusian, well, I don't need to read all that. I'm not going to read all that. I just, this, this is all that uh, really matters. This is all that matters. And they're taking, they're, they're, they're not openly rah-rah supporting Lukashenko. They, they like him weakened. They definitely prefer him weakened. And they need we Lukashenko to feel the need for Mother Russia to, to shift, shift his attentions from China to Russia to stop uh Stop being such a such a such a Moscow dick. Well, dick to Moscow, should I say? Russia's foreign intel chief says Belarus extremists trained in Georgia. Sergei uh, uh, Narishkin, the director of Russia's foreign intelligence service, said in a statement of September 29th that Georgia, among others, is the country where CIA and Pentagon train extremist opponents of the current Belarusian authorities. I mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but I, I probably, and if it's not true, why not? America, why not? Get your act together. Come on. You can do it. Come on. It's a blood sport. Nation statism. It's a blood sport. Don't ever let your nation state let up the blood sporting or you're all dead. If not, if not, if not now, tomorrow. And if not you, your children. Fighters for renewed Belarus are trained in Poland, Georgia, Ukraine, and the Baltic states with the participation of CIA and Pentagon instructors, as well as American NGOs affiliated with the State Department, noted uh, Narishikin. And that doesn't need to be. We could be like they're helping the Russians train people to overthrow Lukashenko and uh, be pro-West and, well, pro-America, not West. We're not, we're not going to be allied with uh, Europe anymore. Fuck Europe. I mean, other than Britain. Britain's part of this alliance. Now, Germany and France can go fuck themselves as far as America is concerned. That's how that should be for a while. Russia. Russia is, is a much better ally.
geopolitically, I'll say than 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 the European than well than the than the well certain European Western European nations that can go fuck themselves. Subjectively speaking, of course, from my personal preference as an American. Belarus. France's Macron calls for peaceful transition amid protests. French presidency. We're, we're, we're going to take his side? Come on, man. French President Emmanuel Macron has promised to help mediate in Belarus following weeks of protest over a disputed presidential vote. He called for a peaceful transition in the country after he met the exiled opposition leader Svetlana Tikhanovskaya. Tikhanovskaya. Svetlana Tikhanovskaya. There we go. Svetlana Tikhanovskaya in Lithuania on Tuesday. It comes after the European set, Union said it did not recognize Alexander Lukashenko as the Belarusian president. So, so what is he? Is he saying it's uh, Svetlana? Svetlana? Uh, I mean, this doesn't help your case. Also, why, if you're Svetlana? I mean, you could probably, I mean, I mean, the Russians would have been smart to say, hey, man, we'll let her she's safe over here and, and actually let her alone instead of uh, Svetlana Tikhanovskaya. Instead of now she's going, I mean, how does that look? Because I, I, I'm just going to tell you that, that the sense of Russian identity in Belarus is very strong. So this really doesn't help her. And if she is the opposition leader, this reads like maybe she's more like that, that Yahoo in Venezuela that, uh, what is it? Uh, Ven, what, what's his, uh, G, G, what's his name? Oh man. Venezuela opposition leader, whatever his name is. Gu Guaudi, G Juan Guido. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. This is like you know that that meme with uh, hello, hello kids with the dude with the you know the skateboard looking all yeah like an adult undercover kid. Uh, yeah, that's what this is guy. Like. Hello there, fellow Venezuelans. I think that might be the same case here. Now I understand. I'm. I mean, if you read the gray zone, by the way, you would imagine that the United States is the worst of the worst for doing these things. But the gray zone is, is they're like children. I really can't stand the gray zone because of their, of their rather myopic selection of vilification of nation statism only when it applies mostly to one specific nation state, the United States of America. That's why I don't trust them. Because every time they report everything, it's it's really it's like China wrote it at this point. They they completely sold out. So I used to like them, but now now they're dead to me. They should be dead to you too for the reasons that I stated. And if you're one of those gray zone supporters, all right, no problem. All right, and uh, let's see what do we got here. Protests continue against President Lukashenko's sixth election victory on August 9th, which has been rejected as rigged. Catholic, oh, I already said this, and where are we at? We are here. Here we go. UK, Canada, sanctioned Belarus over rigged election treatment of protesters. Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko has been sanctioned by Canada and the United Kingdom as massive protests continue in the country over an election which has widely been viewed internationally as rigged. And then let's see. Let's see what uh, Belarus Trump. Let's see what old Donnie. There you go. Well, that's of September 3rd. It says Trump has gone AWOL. Is Donald Trump leading? Oh, that's just shrilleries from CNN. Is Donald Trump leading America towards a Belarus model presidency? Listen, if Donald Trump wanted a Belarus model presidency, he could do it. All he has to do is he has all the tools. He could have declared states of emergency. This is why I know all this, all this, all this calling Donald Trump a fascist is ridiculous because he had all the tools at his disposal to do that. Right? Right during this, this, I mean, no, 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 I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. I'm not voting. I wouldn't vote for any of these idiots, but, uh, but Donald Trump is is he believes in the american bill of rights construct i mean he'll he believes in violating it too but 
but he believes in mostly not violating it and he believes it's a useful tool and he wants to preserve that America he believes I believe fundamentally he believes that this is the good business model this is the the open model that allows Americans to be the most powerful country in the world so our open democracy ultimately that that he believes I believe is is why he he's not he's not a fascist he's a he's a brute he's a belligerent he's an authoritarian but he's not a fascist and then uh, accuses Donald Trump of silence on the and you know it makes sense though geopolitically why the United States would be silent on Belarus on and now they they're probably going to have to silently be supporting the the protesters in the west but but really look at where belarus is you see this is why the united states this is you know all the shrilleries of democrats notwithstanding you fucking morons i'm not gonna be wrong they're all shrill and I'm, I'm sick of all of them i'm truly truly sick of all of them uh but uh look at where belarus is and just just use some common fucking sense and tell me why do you think it is that the united states it's going to be a little bit quiet when it comes to Belarus. I'll tell you why. Because they know deep down inside, while they want to get rid of Lenkoshenko, the people there, they're significant. Significant. If, it, if it's not a majority, it's got to be close to it. It probably is a majority of people who are truly, truly Russian in, in heart. And Minx has a long history of Russian history. So Belarus, its ties to Russia is inexorable amongst those people so long as these people live with that history in them. And if you put in, if you are open, now if you're kind of quiet about it and just trying to help in a little bit, yeah, maybe if somebody gets in power, it might be somebody that would be favorable to the West that will still be able to manage that Russian identity part. Maybe, possibly, it's still, it's going to be really tricky to pull off. But if you're openly supporting the opposition, you're guaranteed to kill it. I guarantee you the Democrats know it. I guarantee you the media at the highest level that approves these articles going out, slamming Trump for taking this silent geo, smart, silent geopolitical position. I guarantee you they know it, but they don't care. They just want to score hit points. Fuck the American foreign policy position, fuck the American state because they serve the fucking party. The DNC, to them, the DNC is America. They're just like the Chinese in that regard. That's why these people can't be trusted. That's why you're fucking nuts if you vote DNC. I mean, they are the CCP. That's their fucking model. They are one in the fucking same. And for God's sake, don't vote for the Republicans either. In other words, don't vote. Seriously, don't vote. Don't vote for the Libertarian. She's nuts too. You accidentally get her in? No, 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 no. They're all crazy. They're all crazy. I'm telling you, the best thing you do is not vote and build uh, secure uh, mesh networks that allow you to transfer your digital currency amongst yourselves without the government or the corporations knowing about it. That'd be the best thing by far and away. You do not want a situation where you get somebody in power that's basically going to start a civil war in Belarus which is going to then threaten Poland's stabili stabilizations. And then you're going to look at people putting, making opportunities to inject destabilizing forces into Poland as well. So of course, you want to silently support. It's just like kind of what the Russians are doing. The Russians are saying, listen, man, it's a legit, 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 legit election. And the Russians also know if they too openly support Lukashenko, that that could backfire on them as well. Because the Russian, the opposition to Lukashenko, as I understand it, some of it may be people in the West or Western leaning, but the opposition itself doesn't want to get rid of Russia's connection, is not pro-West. See, that's the problem. So there you have it. And uh, you're not going to get any kind of... And, you know, I'm attempting to give you nuance. Maybe I don't... If I lack nuance, it's because of my my lack of, of IQ. It's not my lack of intent. They, they do not want to offer you nuance. They do not want you to offer you a platform where you can decide what's going on in the world. What they'll present to you is, is Donald Trump is silent and... Uh, well, actually, most of you probably, if you're American, you're probably not even following this story. Though you should. This is one of these stories. It's one of the reasons why I'm just covering a lot of these world stories rather than all these other 
I, I still cover U.S., American, whatever, but I think these stories are a little bit more interesting. A little bit more interesting right now. A lot more people should be paying attention to some of these stories. I got more stories on the way, and I think that is how I'm going to end this. So I do want to thank you all for joining us on this holiday season, even though it's not a holiday season, for Lukashenko fate still in doubt as 100K protest again, and I will... I will leave you uh, poop on a stick. Poop on a stick. Don't do that to me. And I'm going to leave you sitting there. And I'm going to wave. Wave uh, goodnight to you. I'll uh, see you tomorrow morning. I got another video. Or, or I'll see you. I'm sorry. See you this morning. Again later. <laughs> sorry. I'll see you a little bit. In about uh, five minutes actually. <laughs>